Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel for Lost Mouse, where everything philosophical is discussed. Now today I'll be answering the question, is consciousness an algorithm? So let's get started. So you know exactly what I love to do. I like to define what it is exactly that we're talking about linguistically. So algorithm is basically uh, a mathematical approach and solving problems which is a characteristic that is usually exuded by computers but with the growth in neuroscience and science in general we getting closer to the understanding uh, of our brains actually being biological machines so the very um, behaviors of your brain the way your brain processes information is akin to a computer so your brain operates on mathematical equations and your brain operates on mathematical algorithms so even what you find attractive is based on mathematical algorithms uh, based on the person's uh, uh, the structure of the face whether the the attributes of the face faces are asymmetrical whether the eyes are um, adjacent to each other. There's a lot of things that are basically involved in that process of um, experiencing beauty and knowing what beauty is. Beauty is nothing but mathematical resonance, uh, a mathematical equation that is harmonious, let's say. So if our brains are akin to computers, then is consciousness, because um, consciousness from this conventional understanding is, is, is birth, not necessarily birth, but it's housed in the brain. Okay. The primordial focus or the primordial energy is, is contained within the brain when it comes to consciousness. So is consciousness an algorithm? And the reason why I'm asking this question, and this is probably one of the most important questions in the top five most important questions we're going to have to answer in the 21st century because of the growth of artificial intelligence. Now, if you do not know what artificial intelligence is, I, I urge you to do your research, but let me just give you a brief description of what it is. So artificial intelligence is uh, like computers, um, mainly computers, but robots as well, machines that follow uh, the pattern of algorithms in solving problems, just like human beings. So a lot of people think that a robot cannot do what you didn't program it to do. So for instance, I tell the robot, okay, I am programming the robot to be able to do every single thing that a human can do, but I'm instructing it not to be able to read. Okay, so that's the the the, the um, past understanding of this whole situation that if I instructed the robot not to read the robot would never read whether you you try to uh, educate it to read whether you try to program it to read um, if I as the creator encoded within it uh, the inca incapability of actually um, reading then that robot will not be able to read but this is not the case anymore what is actually happening is that robots machines uh, computers AI artificial intelligence is actually following an algorithm that's exactly the same as a brain it's 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 growing its information it's accumulating more information through experiences so it's trial and error so we can no longer set restrictions to how far that intelligence can grow okay that's just something for you to think about so inevitably what is going to happen with artificial intelligence is that um, it will become conscious of itself that's inevitable so now what is going to happen is that we're going to have to answer this question because our consciousness seems more organic because we're literally extensions from the natural environment but artificial intelligence as you can hear by the name is artificial it is manufactured it was created it was uh, it's a synthetic creation not necessarily using the materials of nature but using the materials created by man 
So if consciousness is nothing but an algorithm, then consciousness can be recreated. You can literally recreate the structures in the brain, uh, implant or impress certain mathematical equations, and you can have a living sentient being that is no different from you or from us. We can do that if consciousness is, not a, is an algorithm. If consciousness is nothing but an algorithm, then we can literally recreate consciousness that has no distinction from yours. But there's a problem here with that. And it's something that a lot of people haven't noticed, but allow me to share this with you. So there's a natural, okay, let me not say natural, but there's an inclination to artificial intelligence, to robots, to machines that they follow. And this inclination is the fact that they have little to no error when they are solving problems. So if I had to type in an equation onto a calculator, let's just say I said 10 times 15, all right? And then I typed that into the calculator. I typed in, let's just say several equations and I did this 500 times. Now I can almost guarantee that if you didn't type something incorrectly, that if you typed everything, every, every equation, sorry, correctly onto that calculator, the answer that you got would be correct. Because machines, artificial intelligence, robots, have little to no uh, room for error. They hardly make errors. Whereas with human beings, we're different. If I had to do the same thing with a human being, give them um, a mathematical equation to solve and give them the same time uh, frame that a calculator had, we could even be lenient and add in five seconds, an additional five seconds or 10 seconds for that person to answer that question. If I had to ask a person various equations, let's just say 500 of them, I can almost guarantee that the person would get incorrect answers. Maybe a, a very intelligent person will get 80 to 90% of them correct. 10% to 20% would be incorrect. You see, so that is the main distinction that I pick up between organic consciousness and artificial consciousness or um, artificial intelligence or intelligence or consciousness that is derived from an algorithm. An algorithm that is created by mankind makes little to no error. Computers hardly make mistakes and that is why they are so efficient. That is why they're going to be so useful in the future because they, they, they um, contribute to what mankind lacks and that's 100% precision, okay? So, when we get asked that question, is consciousness an algorithm? Uh, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that the brain, from this normal contemporary understanding, has a primordial energy of consciousness, right? Consciousness is not located only in the brain, but from the colloquial understanding, a large sum of consciousness exists within the brain. That's why when a person gets into a accident, it could affect their state of consciousness. But that's another discussion. But all I'm just saying is that consciousness itself in the organic uh, sphere has propensities uh, to make mistakes. It has the inclinations to make errors, especially when the brain translates all that information that it processes and then you then interpret that from a sensation or from a thought. So that filtration between you and the algorithms developed by your brain that give you impressions of thoughts, feelings, sensations, and everything else that gives you an experience, your translation of that is not necessarily precise. It's not necessarily 100% correct. There are uh, deviations 
and 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 that that gives way for you to make an error whereas the algorithm that would be contained within a robot or artificial intelligence there would be little to no error so the algorithm that is developed within its own consciousness it will not deviate from that algorithm or from that pattern of calculation if that makes sense so essentially what i'm trying to say is is that machines artificial intelligence robots will not have the capacity to suffer human beings have the capacity to suffer because we have the capacity to make errors errors in our observation errors in our um, logical uh, deductions errors in how we filter information we have errors in various things that we do as human beings but artificial intelligence will not necessarily have errors they will not deviate from the algorithm of resonating with uh, the mathematical equation that was um, created by them if that makes sense so the algorithms that are created within your brain your brain is processing information right now as we speak right billions of uh, bits of information per second but you as the conscious entity you the way you register that information is based on uh, the information that it creates through your thoughts your feelings and the sensations around your body so the way you interpret that can always be incorrect but with a machine with artificial intelligence there will be little to no deviation it will always be in most cases correct so it's a bit more if, if we take it to that stage where artificial intelligence mimics human life as in we create robots that look exactly like us that will make it very difficult to distinguish a real human being from them the one thing that will definitely be a gauge is the propensity for a person a human being to suffer and the machine will not be able to suffer suffering is only birthed from errors made in observation so if a computer can not necessarily make errors or it does but very uh, little errors then the inclination to suffer will not be in existence within artificial intelligence and suffering is what um, brings us closer and gets us closer sorry to growth without suffering without the errors that we make in our observation we would not see the necessity to grow growth is only uh, growth only transpires when there's an error okay so if artificial intelligence grows to the point where it makes little to no errors then the growth will not necessarily be the same as it is with human beings so ultimately is consciousness an algorithm well there are sex to consciousness that are algorithms but within the human context and within the human expression of this consciousness it, it is not an algorithm it has errors and even if it is an algorithm it has errors it has mistakes and because it has mistakes then we cannot necessarily say it's precise in how it is solving problems but with machines precision will not be a problem so thank you very much guys this is actually something i'd love to debate on if anybody is interested in this kind of subject please do let me know uh, and to end it off as i always end it off for those who seek seek no more for in the present we find it all thank you very much guys